Oh, you pig, that's sharp. What do you mean breathing? I am. Oh. Now then, and welcome to the video. If you've been following us for the past couple of weeks, you'll know that we've been working on our bedroom on Narrowboat Lorry, dealing with a few issues. No, not that. We've been changing the bed from in line to cross bed, and we're nearly there. Shall we see the end product? Yeah, go on then. Ta-da! Oh, hang on. Uh, that doesn't seem to have uh, changed at all there. Uh, let's just go and check on what's gone on there. Just give us a minute. So in the good old tradition of every Channel 4 design show, here's the plan. As I said, we have an inline bed um, on Narrowboat Lorry, and we want a cross bed. And each side of the bed we're hoping to have a cupboard, just as it shows on there. That'll put all our clothes and things in. Well, what a to do. Things don't look like they've gone to plan, do they? <laughs> or am I just an incompetent nincompoop? <laughs> don't answer that. Let's just crack on. This is where we left off last week. The bed frame was in position and I was done for the day. Now the finish straight is just about in sight. You join me later the next day as the bed frame is being installed. Right, oh, it's day three or four. Uh, three, four. Oh, I'll put it in in the edit. Anyway, um, I've mocked together this uh, bed frame. Um, and as you can see, it's all nice and neat in there. Um, a bit high, but we've got to have it that high because the water tank is there so we need the clearance for that the problem we've come into is there's only 11 inch either side of the bed which isn't really great for what we need we need storage so we've had to think about it but the thing that really we thought yeah it'll be all right but the thing that really is a problem is up on the door shut that out of the way oh. So this is our entrance to the engine room. Now with the old bed, it used to come just to the side of here. So we could open the door that far. Now we got this in the way. So when I open the door, it's not quite as good as it used to be. And the thing is, we wanted to get access in and out of there while the bed was up. That's just not going to happen. The other thing is, this is a step where all my tools are kept and I can't get in it because of that. So we came to the decision that we'd move the entire bed against that wall. Now, if you cast your mind back to the first video where we uh, were talking about why we were doing this and how one of us was always crammed against the wall and we didn't really like it <laughs> well we're gonna have to do that <laughs> so if we bring it tight against this wall here that's the wall for the bathroom um this might also affect our walk through bathroom situation so we're gonna have to have a bit of a think about that but anyway um, we can have in that corner over there, behind the waffle hand, is where all the wardrobe is going to be for all our clothes and bits and bobs. And we've got a lot of space underneath this bit here as well, which I'll show you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move everything out of the way and uh, undo this bed and then move it over to the wall. But the thing is, I've got to move the water tank again as well because it's um just in the way so i've got to redo all the pipe work again but it's not a problem because i've got isolator valves now so i won't have as much mess as last time <laughs> so i'm going to do that so i'll take everything out and then um, move the water tank over to where it needs to be and then i can rebuild the bed back up um it won't be the final size what i'm going to do is 
but because I've already cut this side here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that side for now. Um, and then when we know it's in the right position and we've tested it and made sure it's all right, what I'll do then is I'll show you me how, I'm, how I cut this side and how I mark out for uh, the bed frame to go on. Um, this is an ottoman bed. I've just cut down. Um, and the problem we've got as well as having it where it is, um, is this bottom section here needs to fit against the wall. But when it's tight up to the wall, it's not right. It's catching on the wall there and it's not down in there. So if I bring it over, I'm going to gain a, probably about an inch, maybe an inch and a half, which should just be enough for this tube here to fit into the right position. Well, we don't want to bang our knees on anything either, so... Right, I'll get it all shifted. Yeah, so here we are. This is how um, the ottoman bed frame works. So that's basically bolted to this timber here. Um, what it does that is um, that holds the frame. So this strut here goes all the way up to there. That goes in and fits in there. And that strut there holds the bed up in position. Um, it's quite hard to pull down, I must admit. Anyway, so I'm going to take that side off and that side and then move it over to that wall. But we'll do that now. Better than expected. So there we are, that's the bed frame out, and you can see it's just two bits of timber really. Two bits of timber either side, the frame goes in, and there's some timber trims on the floor holding it in position. There'll also be some that go down either side there so that the boards don't wobble too much. I'll have a frame inside as well, timber frame for the end here as well. Right, uh, so what I'm going to do now is take these out and then the big job of moving this over this way a bit. So I know my total measurement internal so I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap, um, just a piece of timber along the bulkhead wall there for the um, bathroom. I'm going to put that on its side like that against that wall uh, then the timber will go against that and then this side will move over here so that's got a shift as well so i'll measure it all out <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> i'll get it right this time <laughs> as the motto goes measure twice cut once and then hammer it into position If you can see this but these isolators now I'm just going to turn this to off the off position so no water can be forced through so I don't even have to turn anything off really um, I don't have to turn the water pumps off um, all the water that is going to come out will be held between these pipes so there's a little bit in that one there's a bit more in that one and the same with the engine ones I've got the full bore isolation valves there so I'm just going to turn them to off so I may only lose maybe half a pint of coolant and that can easily be topped up then um, but yeah another thing I've got to do as well which I will be doing not quite this time I don't think I'll have time this weekend um, and that's taking up this floor um, so I can take ballast out because we're 
we were over plated so we're a bit heavy and we're about two inches too low in the water so i want to take that out and rebalance the boat properly i also want to get rid of the flags because they're concrete flags actually absorb moisture hold moisture within them and i'm going to change them for engineering bricks um, which means i can move ballast a lot better so once we get everything in and finished um, i can move ballast around in the back take it out put some more in whatever i need and have the boat perfectly balanced for while we're actually floating or barely floating <laughs> right um, i need i need screwdriver we need plumbing tackle let's do it so I'm gonna to have to lengthen these coolant pipes they're in there they're gonna to have to be lengthened and these for the water hot water um, there's a feed in and a feed out to the hot water. I would have to shorten them ones. So I'll make sure I'll turn that off as well, otherwise that'll empty the tank. Let's do it. I've lost my bucket. Found one. This trim here and that corner trim over there, which I don't think you can see on the camera, but there's a corner trim there and there's a trim there. They're going to have to come off because they just hold it out. Even though it's a couple of mil, I want as much space as I can. So it's tight up as there. Because what I don't want to do is take any of this board off. Because uh, I'll have to reboard it again. So it's just making more work. And I'd probably have to buy a new board, to be honest with you. And I'm messing about with insulation. Don't want to do all that. So that's possibly where it's going to go. Uh, yeah, that's that's a probably where it's going to be about. I think the bed comes to sort of like here, which will give us enough room just to yeah, give us how much room we have. About 18 inch. Yeah, about 18 inch, which is a good size for drawers and things like that. I'm going to do drawers all the way up. Um, drawers down below and not drawers and shelves above. I'm just going to have a little pocket thing for my phone. So I use it as my alarm. So that will uh, just sit on the side wall there. I'll build something a bit fancy for it to slide into. Uh, yeah, there we go. Right, I'll, uh, I'll do all this side now. I'll shut you off for a bit so I can listen to some music. Here we go. It's all in its new position. I've just got to fix that against the wall. But what I'm going to have to do first is fit the actual bed frame. Then I can push that against the wall. And put some pieces of timber that I've got here. They'll go down on those bits here. So that will hold that side. And then I've got a long piece for across the front somewhere. He said... I think I'll just cut that one up. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. uh, uh, <laughs> well, anyway, we'll, we'll sort it out. <laughs> you dog, how have you managed to do that? You utter clown. Never mind. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to put the two bits down each of the sides there. There'll obviously be a piece that goes across the front for the bed frame to sit on. Somehow. When I make one. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you've done that. <laughs> right, anyway. I'll get the frame put together. Right now, so here we are. This is the bed in its position. Final position, we think, we hope. Uh, we got at least, oh yeah. 500 mil, 500 mil or so, 20 inches or so of space over there. So we're going to put a wardrobe that goes up there. 
then comes out a bit and drawers and things that go in there this meanwhile will lift up like that we can store everything underneath in here I'm going to put some doors on here I'm going to drill a load of holes in the side of here so there's stacks of airflow that's the final position of the hot water tank I won't pin I don't have to move it again so all I've got to do now is this is all fixed in I've got to put a piece across the front and fit the bottom section which I'll do in a bit and then have all the pipe work to sort out for that mm, yeah let's crack on Alright, take some shooting now. Good job on fat. Here she is. The bed is installed. The mattress is on. Um, don't know about you, but I can't find anything wrong with it. Can you not see any problems? <laughs> now, did anyone see the problem with that bed? Yeah, that mattress was a bit all squished in, but um, I'd got a remedy for that. And no, the height wasn't that much of a problem, although I did get a nosebleed being up that high. No, the problem stemmed from when me and Debbie actually tested the bed. Stop it! Yeah, unfortunately, we banged our heads on that side of the boat, and we banged our feet on that side of the boat. Now, you see, Laura has quite thick... Um, walls they're insulated with um uh, like a kingspan type insulation um so it's foil backed foam and it's quite thick it's about 100 million places i think and i think it is on the walls too then there's battens and the thickness of the wood on top of that so we lose quite a lot of space on the inside and debbie's always saying our boat generally looks a lot smaller inside width wise um than most other people's boats and that is why yeah so neither of us really liked the position of the bed and we didn't even bother to see if it grew on us right you filthy lot that's enough of that as for that fancy new mattress that we bought in two bits that's not gone to waste we've put it on another Ottoman bed so I bought two uh, beds originally the first one was a bit of a mistake and that's what we've used on this bed here uh, as for the other bed, we've butchered that around a bit and fitted it back into a house and that's a working bed again. So this is our new bed <laughs> and it just looks exactly the same as the old one. But there's a few minor differences. For a start off, our old bed couldn't do this. Yeah, so uh, we've managed to fit an ottoman bed frame in here anyway and we've just screwed the frame to the wall and then the bed goes in the tank which you may have seen me struggling with for the last couple of weeks well that went back to its original position <laughs> but as you can see you know it's an old frame i had off a bed that we had in our old house so i've just maneuvered it a bit and chopped and changed so that it'll all fit in the mattress we had from an old futon and uh, this stuff here this came from um, my uh, son got a new TV um, and it's the packaging that it came in and we've used it just for underneath the mattress give us a bit more support so the leg there this frame if you remember that I was going to save I'm glad I did because it came in handy because I just screwed it to the uh, new bed frame and kept all the bits on so then that side there that that foot there just sits nicely on there and on this side here what I did was I just made a little stop there so I've still got some faffing to do I've got to clean up all these edges and uh, I've got the ballast to do as well but at the moment we've got plenty of room for storage and that's our next big thing with this we're going to figure out what on earth we're going to do with all our clothes because we can't have a cupboard anymore <laughs> and that was the whole reason as for the rest of the bed yeah we're all right with it it'll do and it's a lot easier to drop back down yeah we're not entirely sure how we're going to finish the front of the bed off here we're looking at putting maybe a curtain up or something like that for now um had originally 
the idea that I was going to put um, louvre doors, cut them down to size and put them in front there. Uh, but uh, we're not entirely sure. We think we'll probably leave it open for a while and, and when we make a decision on what storage we're getting, we can then think about the front. I'm going to get a new piece of carpet as well from somewhere, we think. We, we thought about going with uh, hard flooring and rugs, so we'll make that decision and you'll see that as it goes in. And we've still got good access through this door into the uh, engine room, even when we're in bed or asleep, I can just jump, jump into the engine room and uh, get in and out of the boat that way. As for the ballast, well, that's a job for another day. You made it this far, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, remember, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that little bell icon so YouTube my this you next time we release one. And keep them comments coming. I do enjoy reading them. And I will one day get round to answering him. <laughs> anyway, I reckon we'll call it a draw for this one. Till next time.